Why, hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play The World Ends With You post-game. Last time we started the post-game and checked out the blue boss, extra boss symbols that I've missed accidentally, accidentally during the main story. <clears throat> now, in order to advance the plot, for the post game on another day. There are two things we can do. Because there's two storylines to follow, basically. <clears throat> also, yay! I didn't actually want to play you at Tin Pin I, I just wanted to talk to you. The prince. Huh? Huh. Huh. No, 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 no. Go down there and let the guy fall down on his own accord. I can deal with the app. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. So, Molko is right to the north of here. Before we go there, though, I want to quickly go over to Cat Street to show off a little something something. Kitanichi. I kind of want to talk to him, but I don't want to get into another Tin Pin battle. Come on, we have to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's friggin' pie face. I'd gladly risk a tin pin battle for him. <laughs> so in Cat Street. There, as I said, there are two storylines. I'll first do the tin pin storyline. And after that, we'll do the other one. Um, the Wildcat Cafe is only open um, before you start that other plotline. That's why I'm pointing it out. What does the Holy Field do anyway? One jump from Eden, from one skip from Eden, one step from Eden. One hop from Eden. I think there's like five pin pins like that. And they evolve into each other with battle PP or something. Thanks, boss. Oh well. Hanekuma's Cafe closes in the middle of another day. Due to plot. And it makes kind of sense. I just wanted to show off that it's indeed open if you ever want something. And it's readily accessible. Unlike just about any other day. So yeah, another day is the ideal ideal day to get your coffee. <laughs> now, let's head to Molko. Yeah. A booth, babe. Let's see that booth, babe. <laughs> I just sit here quietly and drink my tea. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Of course, this guy is here. What were you expecting? <laughs> He's a little bit full of himself, isn't he? Not important. So, onward to Molko for the big slam off. Slam on, slam thing. It's great for making money. Leaning slowly back in my chair to get the maximum distance. <laughs> That's how you need to pronounce everything he says. Yes? Tee hee. <laughs> I think it actually matters how we do on the preliminaries. <laughs> but, oh well. Either way, we have enemy mees! Crap, crap, crap. Well. At this rate, I'm still gonna win. Just because I have more pins than anyone. I just suck at the game, that's all. Wah! Okay, play one down. Um, if you... Game over in a multi-round, a multiplayer team pin game. Defeated enemies get a gravestone. that they can use to push other people around. It can make things tricky because you can do check all to the gravestones. I mean, how do you kill something that's already dead? Oh, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just going to stay here, invisible. And then the others kill themselves off. Actually, that might be a bad idea. Crap. Also, it will be kind of boring. So let's get in on the action. Ooh. Why do you have such a large hammer? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. So, what do I do against this? I don't want to get near that gravestone. Wow. Oh, gravestone in the invisible. That's just dandy. Crap, 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 crap. Oh. Thanks, based gravestone. <laughs> And that's how you win a tin pin. Do oh, oh, oh. Not that it matters in these two particular games, but oh well. Magic touch. Right. You are the deputy editor of Pinhead Weekly. I can see that being a thing in the real game, actually. <laughs> Kalia's lollipop, by the way, in case you didn't know anymore. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> no, not the prissy kid. <laughs> okay, I don't want the details anymore for some reason. <laughs> Pin we had weekly, that is, because, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> that's why. Golden Saint pin, whatever is that? It's just a golem. 
Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Don't tell me we lost our pins as well. Uh. That would be terrible. <laughs> oh, you didn't. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Unnecessary exposition. I beg to differ. <laughs> huh, a reason. Let me guess, you guys want to save the world. And if that's not it, then you probably want to destroy the world. Because that's just how it goes. more than just those crappy pins. Also yeah, once again we see the picture of Nico's initial pins. He has actually two player pins. That's how he was able to evade Kiranichi's mind control at the finale of the game. Yeah. Just because you destroy one of the player pins doesn't mean Nico doesn't have a backup. <laughs> Oh well. But yeah, we still do have all of our pins. It would rather suck otherwise. <laughs> Souls, yes. I know a dude who can help you with that. His name is Raziel, and he used to be a vampire, but not anymore. <laughs> oh, never mind. He's a sword now, so there's that. Bumps the brakes, buddy. Ramen shop at Indogen Saka, yes? Well, that's a, that can only turn out well, right? Uh, 
Faced ramen. Tis a thing. <laughs> the end, no oh shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you shouldn't be taking this post game too seriously. <laughs> or, Neku, you could run home. Shibuya is large enough, so you would probably not run into the guy again. As long as you stayed away from Tin Pin. Oh well, we have our next objective, so we'll do that next time. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play The World Ends With You the post game. This is Legion and fare thee well.